Let's make you a pumper. Let's be honest, there isn't a DPS that doesn't like to see themselves at the top of the charts when it comes to damage being done in a mythic, in a regular dungeon, in a raid. It doesn't matter where you are. If you're playing a DPS, you want to be putting up the best numbers and deem yourself a pumper. I'm going to tell you how to do that. What's going on, guys? Steven with Level Up MMO, and this video is going to be all about how to improve your DPS numbers to be the best damage dealer you can be to help your groups get through the hardest content in World of Warcraft. This video will cover a wide range of topics from really simple things to just some tools you can use to help you improve. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoy World of Warcraft content, if you like MMO content, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it by the end of it. Thank you so much. Now let's talk about how you can be a better DPS. DPS. So first things first, we're going to explain that DPS is damage per second, which means it's the amount of damage that you can put out in the allotted time frame. We'll be talking about, well, one second. This is going to go over an entire fight or even dungeon. So the amount of damage you do per second will get you to the total damage you do at the end. Most people just look at both or they just want to make sure that you're dealing enough damage per second to keep you in the group, to keep you in the raid. So a lot of time you'll hear that a minimum of 30k is somewhere people want you to be because that means that you are putting a lot in into the fight and if you're doing something like 20k you're doing something wrong there's some part of your build that just isn't working correctly or your rotation or any of the things that we're going to get into in this video and one of the first things to talk about with that is knowing your role as a dps so we've already covered that it's to do a bunch of damage but you also need to understand when you need to be single target versus aoe so what this means is if there's only one mob maybe two you can go single target have a little bit of cleave which means you have abilities that hit targets next to the target that you are going for aoe means you want to hit everybody in an area so we're talking three four five plus mobs that are around you think mythic plus some certain boss fights and raids where they spawn a bunch of mobs this is going to be aoe which means you're going to want different builds depending on what type of content you're doing understanding that is going to allow you to prepare for the content and therefore do even more damage once you understand the different types of combat that you'll be taking part in whether it be single target or aoe then you need to to know how to use your class and spec correctly this means you need to do some research now i can't go into every class and spec in this video but what i can do is tell you to head on over to wowhead subcreation.net or icy veins because they have lots of information lots of different builds people have put together there are whole guides on wowhead and icy veins breaking down all sorts of things from the rotations to your best in slot although best in slot lists just for anybody out there you should know are something that people just put together but really you should be simming these things on raidbot.com this will allow you to go in and actually sim the gear against what item you have picked up and it will tell you whether or not that will improve or end up being a consequence to what you currently have in terms of your dps output but with that in mind you should be doing this research for your class you should be going and getting this information and figuring out what your rotation should be what your opener should be so you get off on the right foot and get a lot of burst damage up front that you can then get when those cooldowns come back so if a fight is long enough think a boss fight in a mythic plus or maybe a raid where it can go four or five minutes this is where you are going to want to have your best opener because it's probably going to come back around and you'll be able to hit those bursts again and up that dps because remember dps is across the entire fight or in the entire dungeon or raid not just right there in that moment because it will fluctuate you won't maintain 50k dps the whole time you'll go to shoot up to maybe 60k and then it'll trickle down as for a little bit you do 40 or 45k and you'll end up with that average so figure out the things that work best for the environment that you have you will need to learn your class and your specs strengths and weaknesses and then apply them so please go do the research and figure these things out there are plenty of resources out there there are other creators with detailed guides as well next up and this will be part of learning your class and spec is knowing what gear and stats you should focus on these are things that you can once again find on wowhead and icy veins where they will tell you your stat priority this can go from your main stat which will be agility or intellect right and then you will want to focus on your secondary which is going to be things like haste crit strike versatility and mastery this will vary depending on the class that you are playing so you want to figure out what stat you should focus on and then when you're looking at gear that will help you decide which piece that you should be taking if you're not simming it or whatever that might be you will just know that eh, maybe i'm a little too high in haste when i should be putting more points into crit strike or something like that right you just need to know what you should be prioritizing and then get the appropriate gear generally item level improvements are better but not always because if it is something that has the wrong main stat 
or really focuses on the two secondary stats that are the least important for you, this can have a negative consequence. Now, we're not talking like 40 item level upgrades, but we're talking five, six, maybe even up to 10 or 15. That cannot be worth it at times. So if you come into that situation, you really can't decide, head on over again and sim that at raybot.com and that will help you decide which piece of gear you should be using. And in the same vein with gear, we are going to talk about consumables, enchantments, things like that. These can improve your ability to output damage dramatically. So weapon enchantments such as Frozen Devotion, you're going to again pick which ones you want depending on the spec that you are. Some people, they're going to use Sophic, some people are going to use Frozen, it's going to vary. But you need to get these enchants on your weapon for more damage. And then there are a lot of other things you can use enchants on there for your gear. In addition, you're going to have things like your runes or whetstones to use on your weapons, which will also improve your damage output, as well as things such as files. For instance, I use File of Glacial Fury, and then I might even throw in an Elemental Power Potion if I'm doing a hard raid boss to just give me that extra kick on that five minute cooldown. But you need to learn the consumables that are best for you. This is information that you can once again find on things like Wowhead, Sub creation and icy veins it will tell you exactly the right enchants and consumables that will make you do the best you can in terms of dps and i know i talked about this when we discussed you knowing your class and spec but we have to hone in on the fact that you need to know your rotation and priority system this is so important because it is going to be what ends up allowing you to do the optimal amount of damage and this is basically by optimizing the order of abilities now it will vary depending on your class and spec this is going to be some where it's just straight up go one two three four five one two three four five with some you know changes maybe the first time it's one two three four five and the fifth one's a cooldown so it goes one two three four five one two three four one two three five you know it's things like that right that can happen but other classes monk for instance it's a priority system so it's kind of just what's up next that's at the highest priority for your build because these things will fluctuate maybe you had to do a rollback because of an aoe so now some seconds have changed something else came up and instead of just going through a straight rotation you prioritize ties the right thing so you want to look at priority lists for the classes that have those or just learn your basic rotation for those that do not and with that in mind you will have different rotations depending on your single target or aoe depending on what build you have right because you will want different builds depending on what you're going into so you will need to learn more than one rotation and more than one opener sequence so get to work and we can't talk about these things if we don't talk about play style and positioning so Mostly we're gonna focus on positioning here and that is because it does not matter how much DPS you do when you're alive if you are laying on the ground being a floor tank, okay? So make sure that you are positioning yourself in the best place to stay alive. If that means that you have to forgo a little bit of DPS to get out of dodge, it will be worth it. Because again, if you're laying on the ground, you are doing no DPS, which means that the fight is going to go on and your DPS across the fight or the dungeon will drop lower and lower and lower. So focus on staying alive. A dead DPS doesn't help and is certainly not going to keep you at the top of the meter so if you see swirlies get out of the way if there's a, a frontal cone get out of the way right like these are things you have to pay attention to and it's the caveat or rather the downfall of a lot of good players who just don't know when to move right they get too focused then on getting that dps they're staring at their buttons they're staring at the boss and they're not looking at all the different things you kind of have to approach it like you're watching the entire orchestra right you can't just focus in on you you have to look at everything that's happening to know when you should get out of dodge and what you can do to better position yourself for maybe what's coming right certain bosses let's think raz the gath right now goes in a very particular order in terms of okay we're gonna set the bombs in the back and then we're gonna do a breath weapon and then we're gonna do a knockback which means you know when they set when she sets them back that a breath weapon is coming which means you can prepare yourself to get out of dodge then you know that you need to get back in front of her and between the bombs that you dropped behind you because she's going to do a knockback knockback right so knowing the fights having that knowledge can get you in the right position so you don't have to stress and maybe click the wrong buttons because you're caught off guard if you know the information you can position yourself the right way to do the best you can and now lastly we'll talk about the fact that there are tons and tons of add-ons that can help you a lot of them are very class specific some are not so you're going to have things like deadly boss mods and all these other ones that'll give you little cues to get out of the way or use the defensive or knock back coming, whatever it might be, that'll help you again, position yourself, prepare yourself, not use an ability that will go to waste because maybe the next phase is coming or something like that. There's gonna be an intermission, there's going to be whatever there is that will make it so if you pop something now, you won't get the most out of it. So you hold on to it, right? That's the other thing. You might wanna stack certain things together. Again, you're gonna figure this out if you look at your builds. 
Another one would be weak auras. There are weak auras for every class made by tons of people. Some are loved, some are hated, some are very specific to one user, and maybe not everybody finds it very applicable, but there are tons out there. For instance, if you're a monk, Jeremy UI is one that actually kind of walks you through your priority list as you're playing. It does a mathematical equation that will tell you what will do the most damage next out of what is available for you. Okay, so there are tons of them like that that will help you keep track of your abilities better, that will let you know when certain procs are up, when certain stacks have gotten to a certain point. And these are all things you need to know if you want to do the most damage. And with knowing your class and spec and your rotation, you need to know exactly what abilities you need to use when. And I don't just mean in the exact order, but also certain things are, you know, procced, or maybe they need to be used by the time they reach a certain level of stacks, right? So Maybe it caps at three and you've hit three and you're about to earn another one. That's a waste and you don't want to do that. You want to get that started back over by using something else or using that ability to get the three stacks off, right? So make sure you're learning and you're getting these things done so you can use them in the most optimal way. Hopefully this was helpful. It is pretty basic and it's really telling you to get out there, do the research, but a lot of people don't know where to start. So we've provided some resources with Wowhead, Icy Banes, and Sub Creation. And then it's a matter of doing the research and practicing. You have the target dummies, you can go do you know easier content than what you may be geared for just be able to practice some of these things but if you do all of this i promise you you will start to do more dps so get out there learn practice and let me know how it has helped you down in the comments below and again if you like this content make sure you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up if you want to come chat with me live you can come over to twitch.tv slash underscore tv and if you want to support me directly in the best way you can throw me a prime sub maybe a tier one or you can become a member here on youtube by clicking the join button down below thank you all so much for watching and good luck in your adventures